I know of all the families of the earth. So the Lord, he said only Israel has the Lord known, meaning he's the only people that he has chosen. We the only people that the Lord is dealing with. Yeah, I'm gonna read this again, man. I mean, because it, you know, it goes right, he goes right into it. And you can see this is all through the Bible. Okay? Right. The people, because it. it's all about Israel. And it's all it's all about Yahweh, and it's all about Israel. That's right, that's right. That's what it's all about. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah, so the Lord punishes. And the punishment was getting scattered. You know, say, lose, lose them remembrance of being an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you forget the most high's name. That's a punishment. To get you get uh, thrown into slavery in America, that's a punishment. Yeah. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out in his den if he had taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no den or get is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Yes, yeah, so all the evil you see is about to happen. Like, like the, some shit about to pop up now is that with that Trayvon Martin case. Oh, man. So it could be some crazy shit going down whether he's found guilty or not guilty. They'll say the white people go nuts if he's not uh, if he's guilty. The black people go nuts if he's uh, not guilty. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, like, so it could be beautiful like, both ways. Like, uh, but the Lord uh, used it uh, like that to divide the people. Right. But, you know what I mean? The Lord, the, the, the Lord bring a punishment to these people out here, man. And that punishment gonna be death and destruction. So it's going to be too. Nothing short of it too. Before these people get burnt up, they're gonna learn what terror is. Yeah, this is, yeah, in America is the country division anyway. It's a country founded upon division. You know what I mean? Right. Like I always say though, that's why in America they let all these different heathens come to this country. Like you got East Indians coming to this country, Arabs coming to this country, fucking Chinese people. They can't, none of them can't even speak no goddamn English. Can't, it's hard as hell to communicate to a heathen to begin with. So we're all automatically divided. You know what I mean? So how you going? How's your country going to stand if you're all divided? Right. It, it's not going to stand. It's going to be destroyed. There's going to be chaos and confusion and destruction and death. Oh, so, you, um, this is Isaiah 40 and 15. I'm going back to that uh, Amos book. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. So these heathens ain't shit, man. And, and then, they, like I said, you got all these different heathens from all these other countries coming over here. Look at that. Nobody got even a guy fucking problem with it. You should chase the heathen out your town, man. They got all ways, man. They some strange motherfuckers, man. Yeah, they always... Zorro's yeah, yeah, hell. Zorro you got the heathens yeah. always cooking that foul shit. They always cook some food you, you ain't never even smelled before. Right. They stink up, though. If, say, if you live in an apartment, I used to live in an apartment complex with the East Indians. They have the whole motherfucking complex stinking. You know what I mean? They be smelling just like what they cook too. You go outside by the trash can, it be fish heads and shit, trash everywhere. Nasty motherfucker. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Then you see these dumbass Muslim bitches walking down the street dressed up in all this bullshit. They got no style, you know what I mean? They just look retarded as hell. No fashion sense. Yeah, no, yeah. No sense of fashion. Because I mean, they can't hook that outfit up. See, it's not that I don't have a problem with women covering up. Right. But the Muslims look like goddamn weirdos, man. They look like fucking heathens. Okay. They just look like they look like like some imperial. They look like like a, a Jedi off of Star Wars or something. They all dressed up in this shit. Just looking retarded as hell. And when you look at the in the face of a heathen, you just see a blank look. Just they got no, like they got no soul. They just look retarded. And that's punishment too, living around a heathen. 
That's punishment, man. I hate every minute of it. I hate being around these fucking heathens, man. I can't, it's, that's torture. You see a fucking Muslim walking down the street, really? Ain't nobody even saying it. It's like, what the fuck, there's a goddamn Muslim walking down the street. That's worse than a faggot. You know what I'm saying? And are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he had taken up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. They say heathens ain't shit. I got a scripture to back up because you just talking about the Lord going to fuck Israel up, right? I just want to read this scripture. This is Psalms 44 and 8. And God, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever, Salah. But thou hast cast off, excuse me, but thou hast cast off and put us to shame and goest not forth with our armies. Yeah, so you got all these faggots out here. You got a lot of these faggots talking about they're going to uh, stage a revolution against the government or they're going to pick up arms or some shit. Look, and half these motherfuckers don't even believe in the Bible. They don't believe in the truth. So the, you're going to get destroyed if you go to battle. If the, if the Lord ain't with you when you're going into battle, you're going to be destroyed. It's plain and simple. You're going to get slaughtered, especially against this beast. You, they, people actually think they're going to fight against the U.S. government. You know how retarded that is? Yeah, to drop a nuke on your whole operation, man. So scared. Yeah. So, so scared. The fuck is my foot? Shit, a fucking predator drone. <laughs> well, they got tactical. Yeah. Yeah. You know they got tactical nukes too. You know? They 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 learn right, how to right. control it. They can. That's, that's why all the uh, some of the CIA motherfuckers doing rolling. They send out a robot on you. They don't need to. You know what I mean? They act, they got predator drones. That's the main thing to get you with a predator drone. They got armies of predator drones. They got whole fleets of them. How many of them? Obama ordered how many predator drones? Like 30,000? Some ridiculous number. They said he gonna have 30,000 predator drones flying over America. That's, for, that's just for the elect man when they get that spiritual power to have fun. Tearing oh yeah. That, tearing that shit up. We man. gonna be battling that shit like the Hulk. Right, they can't nobody imagine how these end times gonna be, man. But we can. Cause they got robots, man. They got robots just like off the Terminator 2 movie. They have motherfucking robots. Right they, now. They can eat plants to keep on running and keep, they got solar powered robots. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This so gonna get crazy, man. This gonna get crazy, man. And I heard too, I was watching this one video. This, this, this guy gave a, a, he gave a speech. He was an expert in robotics. And he said, if you ever battle with robots, you get uh, the best defense, it's just to fucking run as fast as you fucking can. And you don't, you don't try to fight it, you know what I mean, unless you got some serious weaponry. But if you want to mess up the robot sensors and try to get a lot of, get a kick up a lot of dust and a lot of sand, to fuck up with their sensors, you know what I mean? But they'll probably have technology to uh, fix that, you know? So this shit's real, man. It's like we live in a side, like we was talking earlier, they're going to put microchips in everybody. That's some science fiction shit. But it's happening already. People are already walking around and playing it with fucking microchips. Let me read this. Psalms 44. Yeah, they think they got something special too. They got a microchip. Yeah, they really, they fashion they something special. They look, up, look at you like you ain't shit. Yeah, so like. They got a microchip. Like them, like them, uh, like them people that live out in Silicon Valley. All them, you know, high up computer motherfuckers. <laughs> People working up at Apple. They all chipped. Oh. You know they chipped. They was embracing them too. They embraced them. Now, they're all homosexuals too, a bunch of faggots. You see the videos where people getting chipped, they smiling and shit all happy. Yeah, they got the whole family chip, got the dog chip. Well, a lot of people in the hood got their dogs chipped. Little Timmy got chipped. 
it's a law in England that you have, if you want a pet dog or a cat, any kind of pet, man, a no, snake, any kind of pet, a, a snake, you gotta chip it. Get alligator. A, what kind of shit is that? You gotta get everything chipped now. So that, that tells you the people in England are fucking retarded. If they didn't revolt against that, you know, it, it's, it's over for them. Yeah, America's, America's real retarded. Ooh, place I'm surprised they haven't implemented that here yet, though. You know, what's that? If, if, if it happened in England, that means it's coming it's here, here next. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm talking about it's going soon. It's going to be a law that you got to get your pets chipped here. This is a law here. It, it's been passed here. Oh, they said in Columbus, it's well, in Ohio, it's for exotic animals. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, so much shit. Yeah, you gonna have to get all kind of. Shit. You already gotta get an ID. Get a, get your shit chipped. You already have to get an ID when you go to the. Go to the uh, ID place. They take a picture of you. They take a biometrics of your face. They know they said it. They said we're taking on your ID picture. When you go get a driver's license or ID, they they've taken your. When they take your picture, they're taking a nice high def picture of your face. You know what I'm saying? And they taking a biometrics of your face and they doing a face scan on your ass. So anytime you face pops up on a camera walking down the street, they can pull your file up. You know what I mean? And if you got a phone on you, they got your GPS location. It's over for you. They can just take you out, man. Now we'll go back to this song real quick. Psalms 44 and 9. But thou hast cast us off and put us to shame, and go us not forth with our armies. Thou make us to turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil themselves. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat, and hast scattered us among the heathen. So that's a punishment, being scattered among the heathen. Because you see how foul these heathens are. So that's a punishment to get scattered, to have to grow up thinking that you're a heathen. Because you got some Israelites that live over there in China, but they're not really Chinese. They're totally different from the rest of the Chinese people. You know what I mean? But they're actually Israelites. That was a pun that is they must have did some wicked shit in the past. So the Lord punished their ass and scattered among them heathens. You know what I mean? Around East Indians, the Hamites. Man. That'd be awful. Oh man! That'd I mean, I can tolerate them Moabites and Ammonites. And, and all the more than Ham. Oh man! Look at uh, look at East Indians. Eat them, eat them. Maybe East Indians are foul. Man, that's some foul shit, man. They bullshit rats and shit, man. Yeah, you seen that video? Hell yeah. You got the goddamn East Indians and fuck shit. Them whole Hindus, them Hindus, they be sitting chilling, let they be eating meals with their rats. They have like a like a, a whole city, a whole city of rats. It be like thousands, city. like thousands yeah. of rats. He be sleeping with rats. Got a rat on his head, rats on his shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Got rope. They be chilling with roaches. Cause they don't kill them. Cause they they teach. That if a relative dies, one of the rats. Come back dead, yeah, they'll teach you come back in a reincarnation as a roach. Right, that's a motherfucking heathen. That don't make no sense. That sure the fuck don't, man. You can't even, you can't even entertain that into making sense, man. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Look, yeah. Look around goddamn heathens. Yeah, if you, <laughs> hey, yeah, that is a curse, man. Yeah, because if you, yeah, you plant a corn seed, corn's gonna grow. You know what I mean? Side by, yeah, I told y'all motherfuckers, break my lungs. Don't follow my steps. Yeah, that's Boy, a, watch what I do to y'all. Yeah, watch. Let me read it again. Yeah, we so goddamn hard-headed. We... It says, Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for me and has scattered us among the heathen. So Israel scattered among all these heathen. You know what I'm saying? That's why I guess we all... It's all... Oh, that's a nice one. It's like almost you see it over and over again in the Bible. It's over and over again. It's talking about Israel, and then it's talking about how Israel is going to be scattered among the heathens over and over and over. I mean, it's like that's like the central theme of the Bible. It's like the Lord did. Oh hell yeah! Fucking yeah. 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 right, right, right. Hell yeah! You know. Looking at Psalms 44 and 11 issues. Nigga woman ain't shit. I see the look on the face. Nigga woman ain't shit. 
Yeah, this is why you get scared. That's one of the punishments, you know what I mean? That's a punishment too, seeing the nigga woman go. Seeing your woman, yeah, because that's a punishment. Seeing your women be hoes. Your, your women are having sex, it's get married. Get, they, yeah, they hoeing they set out to the heat. These bitches will fuck you for a bag of weed, you know what I mean? They'll suck you, they you do all kind of shit. If you give a bitch some drugs, you can do whatever you want to. You can use the hell out of that bitch, man. Oh, hey. Just give you give her some drugs, some money. Yeah. You can abuse that hoe, man. Hell yeah, rent a bitch. Yeah, rent, rent a hoe. Yeah, just tear that shit up. They need to just put a fucking building, man, or uh, you know, like a vending machine. Bitch at work said they got this stuff the bitches put in their throat to make their throat stone so they could oh, suck cock. My goodness. That's awful, man. Oh my goodness. Look. Y'all good with that. You can probably find all that good shit at Lions. You know them adult bookstores. They said they had yeah, toy parties, like all the girls get together and yeah, like. Right. Yeah, that what kind of shit is that bitches go there and fuck each other with strap on bills? I've been to several uh, toy parties, man. Bitches. <laughs> I've been to several of them, man. These bitches, they get wild at them too. Man. I've seen some before. I've been. I've been. Redhead. Yeah, she ain't gonna make it. She about to have a stroke out. <laughs> That's just a one-time thing with her running around. <laughs> Cause she met somebody over the weekend. Oh, I gotta press this motherfucker. Let me try and slim up a little bit. Like, Behold, the nigga don't give a shit what she look like. That bitch going when she get home, she gonna be eating a goddamn uh, ham salad. Oh yeah, bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Devil worship. You want some? You want some shake something? Hey, look, you look like Esau. <laughs> Come here, eat a bite. Come here for a minute. <laughs> That's a straight thing. I feel like Tom wanna eat a bite in Yeah. I feel like Tom. You got more of that, bro? Yep. It said, uh, Thou has given us, this is Psalms 44 and 11. Thou has given us like sheep appointed for meat, and has scattered us among the heathen. Mm. Thou sellest thy people for naught, and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. So, yeah, we get, that's why, like, America was found by slavery. Like, all these black people got in America. Well, all, pe all black people came to America on slave ships. That's a fact. That's a fact y'all can't deny. That's what I'm saying. What was July 4th was last week? Fucking asshole. Mickey Cool said he ain't cool. The Lord would kill his ass. That was your dude, kid, dog. Make that front wheel collapse while he's doing it. But I was just thinking though, this last week was uh, July 4th. And black people celebrate Independence Day as the most retarded shit I've ever heard in my life. I mean, it's just illogical. <laughs> it doesn't make no fucking sense. I mean, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration, look, the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, 1776. I'll get my back whipped then. <laughs> but but who, was, who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. And he, he, he was a slave owner, but he said all people were created equal. But then in the Declaration of Independence, when you read it, he, he says, he calls, he calls the Indian savages. He calls the Indian savages and he was a slave owner, but he said all people created equal. So man, if you're black and you celebrated Independence Day, just smack the shit out of yourself, man. Just slap yourself. Yeah, go kill yourself. Tie a millstone around your neck and jump in uh yeah, go jump uh, Hoover Dam or Island Creek or uh, what's that stinking river back there? Oh uh, yeah, Island Tangent. Yeah, go play a, chicken with the train and lose. Yeah, this is what you do, get a, like yeah, right. go get a whole bunch yeah, of a, get some appliances, get a couple radios, uh like Nintendo and plug them in. <laughs> grab them in your arms, just jump in the yeah, swimming yeah. pool. Take a shower with you. Yeah. I'm only laughing because it's just, I, I just see your future. You might as well I'm kill yourself. I see what's going to happen to you. He did. Hey, but let me get that if for you. Don't. Let me, I'm going to pause this. We're going to get back to that. So he quoted the scripture when he said you that because the Lord said, if you don't believe in his truth, you might as well go kill yourself. I didn't build something wrong that. Just kill yourself. That's biblical. The Lord said, if you don't believe in the truth, he's told you to kill yourself. That's your homie? Walking your dog. Let me get you a scripture, bro. I'm about to read this scripture. Matthew 18 and uh, 1. 
At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus, you, you know uh, Jesus is real ancient Hebrew name? It's Yahweh Shaggy. You know Jesus is just Greek. It's a Greek title. It's not his real name. It, in Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shaggy. It says, Yahweh Shai called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. You don't even care, do you? What? You don't even care, do you? It's all good. Hey, read it. That's all right, though. We used to. Now, listen to this, though. This Most is, people like that anyway. That's a good scripture, though. Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Who, whosoever therefore shall humble himself, so you got to humble yourself, as the little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such a child of my name, receiveth me. That's right. You got to humble yourself to see this truth. Yeah, you got to humble yourself. Right. You can't make some proud, most of bastard. Check this out. This is the point we was talking about earlier. Uh, Matthew 18 and 6. It says, Whoso shall offend one of these little ones That's which right. believe in me, because we got because we're children, you're just supposed to humble yourself as a child. It's not talking about actual children, because he just told us you got to be his children. You know what I mean? Because what, what it means to be a child, you ever heard the phrase, you got to be reborn? You know what I'm saying? To uh, be, When you come into the truth, you have to be reborn in the spirit. That's any child, like with sense, man. When, you, when you're talking to a child, he's humble. He got a humble spirit looking up at you anyway. Yep. That's a child. Except you go to the hood, you talk to them heathens in the hood. Yeah, the we, like, look, I've been cussed out by little motherfucking kids. You know, I'm going into the, especially come out to y'all Korean when y'all was out that way. Oh, yeah. Out south, going in the fucking driveway. Little motherfuckers looking at you like, damn motherfucker, can you wait till I get across the street? Yeah, I was like, yeah. Kill kid in the middle of the motherfucking street looking at you like, every other what, nigga? Every, yeah, what, nigga? The little nigga, a little kid. All the time. They got video, I was just watching a video the other day. Imagine putting the car in reverse and, Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Good to see you, man. All right, later, man. Oh, hold on, let me read the scripture for you, bro. Right, man. I got to go But it's good to see you. I'm sorry. All right, later, man. I'm about to read this scripture. See, because he didn't want to hear this scripture. Oh, yeah. People think it's just a joke, man. They think this word, the word ain't have no effect, man, but it's unfortunately well, they laughing at how you. it works. People laughing at you. Huh, you can't believe these motherfuckers are out here doing this shit. Even yeah. people right now out here listening, this word is still in full effect. Yeah, it's in full effect. Yeah, even if people ain't out here working, it's affecting every motherfucking body. Even when they just ride by, look at us. They saw the prophets. It's going to get them eventually. You, <laughs> plus, it's going to get them. Yeah, you got you got. Look, man. Just leave your eyes on us. Cause you gotta report, even even when you die, you gonna have to report to the Most High. That's right. No excuses, bro. No excuses. Like the Most High, like the Most High told you, you supposed to be down here being about His work. That's right. If you ain't about the Lord's work, He's gonna get you, man. Right. Especially in times like this we're living in, man. When 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 we're, we're wickedness in, it's increasing. It's faggots everywhere. It, it, increasing, multiplying. Fucking ridiculous, man. Fucking losers, man. Right, right. They're fucking losers. You know what I mean? Curses. Lord, Lord ain't dealing with losers. Misses all. Let me read this. Matthew 18 and 6. That's that scripture we talked about. Like we said earlier, the Lord said if you don't believe in him, you might as well commit suicide. Well, actually, I'll show you what he said. Matthew 18 and 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, that's us. It were better for him that a millstone were hang about his neck and that he would drown in the depths of the sea. It'd be, it's a, it'd be better for him. Let me read it again. So take this, offers. Yeah. The Lord said, kill yourself. That's right. If you got a problem with us and you think, yeah, that we look ridiculous out here, these guys are ridiculous. I can't believe they actually do that. Well, that's what the Lord got to say to you. He said, but whoso offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must need that offensive come. Cause, yeah, because the, the Lord set it up that the wicked do what they do anyway. Some people, they get bugged out. They be like, well, the Lord's... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, oh man, I hope not. 
That's an offense. It is. That's a goddamn offense right there. Look at that. Look at that. I know you can catch it on camera. That shit is a fucking freak. That's a freak show. That's a freak show. I'm tired of living in this city. That's a freak show. That's a punishment, though, man. Yeah, that's a curse. That's, that's a punishment. That's when you get scattered amongst some other nation. You learn to do that shit. You learn to do that shit. Maybe right in the plane, being around these other nations, man, they tell you to do that shit and it's okay. And one look at a faggot, you can tell he's a faggot. And he only turned around and ran for himself. You got a pressure curtain. She had a cross. Let me read this. Matthew 18 and 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. <laughs> woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs that offense have come, but woe unto that man by whom the offense cometh. Ooh, and we've been offended by thousands of motherfuckers. Yeah, everybody come out here and talk shit about us. Thousands, possibly millions. Motherfuckers just riding by talking shit. And then you got people who talk shit about us in their mind. Mm -hmm. They'll try to be nice to us, but inside their head, they're like, these motherfuckers, yeah, yeah, these fucking... A wolf. Yeah, a sheep told them, yeah. A wolf. Stalkers on the internet, posting on the videos, you know. <laughs> they gonna answer to this. And it's funny as fuck when the last days come. They gonna remember their scoffer. They gonna be able to play the whole shit out. Yeah, these things of power and play the whole movie out. Have them act it out right in front of you again. This shit. Some wicked people, man. Hey, look, I, this goes right with that. Watch. I'm gonna go back to that song. This is Psalms 44 and 11. Thou hast given us like sheep appointed for me and has scattered us among the heathen. So we live around heathens right now, man. Thou sellest thy people for naught and does not increase thy wealth by their price. So even though like America was founded by slavery, now we still in slavery. Like I said, after you get a paycheck. When, when do we get out of it? The IRS is taking all your money. You know what I'm saying? They take they taking like half of some people's money. And then after that, you gotta pay rent, you gotta pay all kind of registration fees for every fucking thing. You gotta get a driver's license. You gotta get permission from a motherfucker to drive your car. That's your shit. Why I gotta go to this motherfucker to get permission to drive my shit? Right, park your shit on the curb in front of your crib without uh, register tags on that steel turn. They, they'll charge you to park. They got parking right. meters. Right. They don't pay you. They, you gotta pay for water now. You know what I'm saying? You have to pay for water. Soon they're gonna charge you for air. They actually, they already was charging for air in China. Did they? The air got so bad in China because the pollution so bad. Cause they're a bunch of fucking heathens. So the pollution was so bad that they was actually selling cans of air in China. And they, they're doing it right now, probably. Right now, sir. They actually sell air, because the air's not fucking breathable. You gotta walk outside with a goddamn mask on. You see, America's air is just as bad. Damn near uh, second behind time. Yeah, go to L.A. Got the, you, L.A., in the morning, you can see the smog rising. This is disgusting. dog in then you got all these faggots running around spreading diseases. It's, like, it's, am it's amazing we can even stay alive. This is shit so fucked up. The food's all fucked up. Everything's genetically modified. Shit. Some genetically modified food to give your ass cancer and tumors and shit. Quick Jay Z look. He's on. Yeah. <laughs> he was slick. The most cop will pull his ass over real quick. Cops is hardcore of targeting black people now. It's not even safe driving being black right now. And all the Columbus cops are all white. I ain't seen a single black cop. There might be like two. There might be a few. There ain't nothing like a brother, straight up. Talk to him, man. You can't, there's no relate to him. Yeah, it can't be. He's a fucking cop. You can't trust the cop. I'm gonna shut a bunch of them. That's why you get that one guy on YouTube. That the Daniel Seven guy, he's a fucking cop. How you gonna follow guys? A motherfucking cop. Yeah, nasty nature is a cop. Yeah. What that the fuck is that? Nasty and you gonna tell me he's a man of God? Right. To be a cop goes against every last principle in the Bible. He's a man of God to two thirds. Yeah. 
to a two-third fool. So if he was a cop, yeah, back in the day, he must have worked for a uh, Pontius Pilate or something. Yeah, he, yeah, he, right, you know right, what I'm saying? right, 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 you know? yeah. Goddamn Roman Centurion. What's up, sister? You hit that scripture? You no, know, uh, we in that era of time, that time now, we uh, about to get you an RFID chip. Unless you got you one now. <laughs> a lot of people have them now. They ain't heard about the micro stuff. So if you want to get some food stamps, you want to get, actually, you want to so do social security. Because actually the social security is the precursor to the microchip. What's up? Yeah, man, tell me what's going on. Copies? Oh. Um, uh, well, we got videos you can watch. There, there is places where you can download images. On the internet. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can print them out. You know what I'm saying? But hold up, we was just talking about that social security number. You know the social security number? That's the precursor to the microchip. Because first, now they saying you a number, you're not a person, you're just a number in a computer system. You're just a number in a computer. And now they gotta take it a step further, they gotta put microchips in there. They've already been done. They've already been done. That's how they gonna track it. A lot of you, uh, uh, Richard Famous got the chip. Yep. A lot of the oh, rich. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. A lot of your pets got chips. I don't chips. have them. You don't have a pet. But yeah. you familiar with what we're talking about when people got, uh, their, got a chip in their pet? Let me tell you this right quick. Very simple. Our test has put this 60 in. Five. Say that again. I'm going to break it. Oh, you gonna come back or not? Yeah, he called me back. Well, everybody comes back. Listen, everybody I've comes back. I've asked him too many times that I'd be a woman, but then I was born and I'm gonna be one all my life. So he was a woman in previous life. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know reincarnation is in the body. Yeah. But I'm not reincarnated. No, all yeah. of us are reincarnated. Yeah. I know, but if we ain't got a choice to come I back. I do have the name before I can most of the body, but there's no way I can. You got you ain't say it again? I didn't even hear you. I didn't hear you. I'm not, I had my name changed. I read the Bible. Right. Talk, What's your name? Of course, most of the That would make me like. You got a biblical name. As long as the dinosaur. So that that's, that can't be true because I brought it with my mom. I brought it with my sister. But those boys don't make me my mom. My dad is pregnant. Got my mom pregnant. You, you, come, out of, you come out of your dad. I'm the seed and my mother's seed. No, no, you don't have sperm. You don't have that word, that sperm. That's seed. That's the seed. Well, that that seed is sperm. Right. That's an egg. But my dad, her right. senior planted the seed. Right. My right. Family. But you, the woman don't carry a seed. The woman don't have no, no has no say so on that, that, that her as far as her her right. 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 That child that comes out of you is not the same lineage as you. It's the same lineage as the man. That's why the woman. That's, right. that's why the woman takes on the last name of a man. Get married. Right. You get married, the man takes, you know what I'm saying? And on my birth certificate, I have my name, and to this day, when I got divorced, I carry my fake name for my grandpa and my grandma. Right. That well, you yeah. still married, though, whether you got divorced or not. No, ain't no such thing. my husband. Divorce, when they, had, divorce, when they for divorce. Yeah, first, but divorce is just something that we do. Me. That's just something we do, but you're not. That's why the Lord, well, according to the Bible, you are an adulteress. Where you get that pocket with To the bookstore. Yeah. Nah, we above this school. We above right school. Here. This is school. We above school. We above school. We know way more. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. What's that? I don't have to person. Somebody is. 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 Somebody Actually, the university was started by the church uh, 100 to 100 years ago. That's really strange. Do y'all know in here that they're doing all kinds of stuff? Oh, yeah, they, they got the same experiments and stuff. Yeah, yeah they do doing all kinds of stuff. They got biological weapons in here. They got like, diseases to break out in there. This is on the, this is yeah, on the, but I don't want to mess with the stuff. Oh, hell no. Mix, 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 and I don't want to be going to jail. 
<laughs> yeah, they be, no, I ain't talking about the main hospital. I'm talking about certain buildings. They all had them uh, nursing uniforms. Yeah, right, right, all that. Right. And they be running down the house. I was in Pruitt in a children's That's hospital. That scared me. Uh, it's a pulling uh, Really? Oh, I'm serious. Shoe hospital. It, was, it was more serious than Jurassic. I believe you. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. That's what I'm telling you. You know what? The time is so close to our two apartments. I think I thought all of them was in the thing. Oh, right. Check that. There's some, there's some weird yeah. shit. Yeah. I work in these hospitals. In a, in a pathologist. You know, it used to be in the basement of the hospital where somebody died <laughs> and they do the uh, high time. Look, he's telling you. He's telling you. I used to work in hospitals, and I used to be in pathology, yeah. where the scientists are. I've seen some things that you would think you were watching a sci-fi movie. Like you used to be down, <coughs> is that you have to go to uh, Adrian, they do it in the Adrian building. Yeah. What's it called? Yeah. I don't know. The Adrian building. You're talking about here at OSU. Yeah, but right, it's... Right. I don't know the name of You're talking about the one that's on the far west the side. Family. Right, the one on the far west side. No, west, I mean west side. The that's what I mean. Yeah, right, I know somebody that works there. They tell you some crazy shit that's going on. And some of the how do you think they learn how? So bad when they uh, when they just, when they do the autopsies, them dead people start coming back to life. Well, that's, that's it, it ain't the spirit. They though. do experiments. It ain't the spirit that's in them though. It's just electricity. Yeah. But check this out. You know how do you think they discovered all that? You eat salmon. You eat salmon. Salmon. Real fish. No, not often. See the salmon, they sell it, that's a salmon, they got to mix with uh, eels in it. Yeah. They learn how to do that at these universities. They split splice and genes. Splice and genes. The Bible says you can't do that. You ever heard of Franken? You ever heard of Monsanto? The eels, they yeah. mix together now. They've been doing it. They've been doing it. They've been doing it. You know, like an apple might end up biting you one day. Right, it just came out of the news the other day. Today. No, I'm not saying, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. An apple might end up biting you one day. They say that it's growing human. Monsanto's. What's that? Insects and animals are going to do this call. Hey, who? Insects and animals? No, I think it's insects. Oh, okay, okay. Tells you how you should, you should treat them good. 
But these white people lock them up, that's why they got these zoos. They lock them up in zoos. Oh, yeah, tell you, something about beasts. I can look it up. It's been a minute since I read that one.